how big data can be used to help increase the transparency in the California healthcare system. Sure. Well, my work at the California Healthcare Foundation is focused on an element of big data called open data, which in essence refers to the data that is publishable, um, that can be seen by the public. Often it refers to the de-identified aggregated data and the need in particular to have government make those data available. When government does make those data available, there are a multitude of things that can be done with it. First of all, all of us are in some ways are healthcare consumers. We're shopping for healthcare. We want to understand if the quality of maternity care is better at this hospital or that hospital, um, if the medical group is better performing than another medical group. And so those data are enormously beneficial for our healthcare delivery system. By that same token, policymakers at a very local level need the kind of data that we think of as big data asthma rates, diabetes, whatever it may be, to help them understand the kinds of policies at a local level that they need to institute to, uh, in essence, ensure that their community is faring well. What exactly, t what types of data are we talking about? It, it, it could be a range of data. In some respects, the uh, what they often thought, think of as the social determinants of health is extremely important. Things like poverty or education status, reading proficiency even. But the more medical side, the more health-related side, uh, it can include things like insurance status, that's a very important determinant, of course, of the quality of health care. But it also can include things like um, diabetes and asthma, as I mentioned, uh, those kinds of rates. Um, any kind of thing that, in essence, can be calculated um, in a hospital setting, in a medical group setting, um, chronic disease burden. Those kinds of things are extremely valuable for policymakers, for journalists, and, of course, for healthcare care consumers themselves to have access to. And how is this data obtained? Is it through hospital records or research studies? That's a good question. Often the way the data is, is obtained is in essence is through government agencies. And so hospitals are required to submit their data, their hospital discharge data, to the state. And the state then is responsible for making those data accessible. Um, so for example, uh, healthcare acquired infections is a, is a subset of these kinds of data. The infections that can take place in a healthcare setting like a hospital. And uh, every hospital is required to submit that information to the California Department of Public Health, who then makes those data available. The tricky thing is how can you make those data available and packaged and designed in useful ways? A consumer is not going to want to view those data on a spreadsheet. Um, same with a policymaker. So the trick is, is to design and package the information in ways that are truly meaningful to the person who's viewing it. And how do you go about doing that? That's, that's the big challenge. Um, we do a lot of work to think about how you should put together and assemble information. Um, in some ways, you've got to you've got to bring together the user groups, um, whether it's healthcare consumers or, in our case, we brought together county supervisors and talked with them and had them participate in a design session to help us understand what we what we could design that's going to meet their needs. Can you give me an example of a project that you've worked on in the past? Sure. Um, the one I was just referencing, I think, is an important one. Uh, in essence, what we're trying to do is to assemble data. What we've learned is that county supervisors don't have access to the data that they need for decision making. And they're responsible for a lot of the health policy decisions that happen at the local level, at least here in California. And so what we've done is first interview them to understand their needs, secondly, to have them participate in a design session so that we could prototype a design uh, for how we can basically put together and package these data in ways that are going to really sort of serve their needs. Uh, another example is our foundation has a website, calqualitycare.org, which is entirely focused on providing data on hospital quality, nursing home quality, and medical group quality. And we make that available in a way that consumers would easily understand, easy to search, easy to find the data you need, available for, in essence, all the facilities that are out there uh, across California. And when you say consumers, do you mean average Joe, people without necessarily a background in science or technology? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we are trying to design this information in a way that it's going to be useful to someone who does not have a scientific background. Um, and translating the scientific information, healthcare acquired infections data, to someone, a consumer who might need to shop for medical care and to figure out what hospital is better than another on those particular measures, that can be difficult. Thank you so much for sure. coming to talk to us. Thank you.